We're going to look at Graphic Burger, and I'm just going to show you a demonstration of how to download and utilize their free mockups. Now, mockups are tools that professionals use to show their client uh, places where perhaps their the logo that they're designing for them might be located and so you can show your work in a really cool or or beautiful light or something that will inspire of course your uh, your clients so that they can catch the vision that you are already seeing as you are designing perhaps their logo or something else now graphic burger is a great place to start because they have free um, uh, mockups and so it's a great place to experiment how to use the files etc and also uh, many of their files are very professional looking so they can be used alright so what you do basically is you open up to graphic burger here graphicburger.com and you will see that you have like this download now button over here and you want to ignore that you'll see download buttons popping up every here and there and those download buttons it's just a maze you gotta cut through right so basically here's how you use the site you'll open it up here and this is the mockups page okay and you see right there we have the little mockups thing you see right here we have mockups so if you go to the site and you you find your way to this page that would be good all right now each one of these pictures that you're looking at is simply a, a product that your design can go on to so this one is a box that your logo would go in place of this one this is a van your logo would go in the place of wherever you see a logo on the van of course these uh, leggings we will see your logo would go right on the waistband here and so you can see that what they've done is they will prepare a very high high-end good quality photograph that uh, that has all the effects and everything already on it to make your logo look fantastic and you're just gonna pop your logo in the place of the logo that already exists okay so super easy to use these and there are tons of them you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and see all different kinds and I could by the way keep scrolling and scrolling but for the sake of time I'm gonna pick one and it's gonna be this one right here this is the 3d wall logo mock-up number three okay I'm gonna click on this because I'm gonna say that's the one I want click and it brings me to the download page and on this download page you see a lot of download buttons here and here and a subscribe button and all kinds of things you just gotta you know kind of go through that and ignore them because those aren't the download buttons you wanna mess with I'm gonna scroll down on the page and of course I can see now what this image is going to look like like where what my logo will look like I can see it much more clearly they also show me a very very close close-up so that I can see the quality of the photo uh, which is handy in this particular download they're showing me that they're actually going to give me a second uh, PSD file to work with and this one will will enable me to have a black or a dark um, logo on the wall and then of course they show me a close-up as well so you get a good view of what you're gonna download before you download it which is very handy now as I scroll all the way down I'll get a description of what exactly they're going to be downloading uh, to me or I'm gonna be downloading from them excuse me and I get the file size I get the dimensions I get all kinds of things and the minimum Photoshop version that you have to be working with okay um, and you'll see this big green download button this is the button by the way okay and this thing was downloaded this many times I mean big number so lots of people have liked this particular file and lots of people have actually liked it give the old heart right okay so now just a caution when I see this big green download button here sometimes the download button will say something to the effect of um, uh, let's see click to go to download page instead of just saying download if it says click to go to download page that means that you're gonna be sent to another page and sometimes that's a page that they charge you so you'll see the price though and you'll know if that's what you want to do or not but if it just says download all by itself then on the graphic burger site that means it's just free okay so let me show you how we do this then I'm gonna click the download button click and when you do you go to yet another page and they count down for you up here okay so your download will start in and they counted down to zero my download didn't start and if yours doesn't basically just go to the click here right underneath that and click it 
and then boom you saw that image down there showing me that a download is occurring okay I'm gonna go to my downloads page so that I can watch the progress and see what's happening I mean excuse me, my download folder when I open my download folder you'll notice that this bar is telling me that it's being downloaded I'm almost done okay remember these are pretty big files high quality so it takes just a little bit of time for them to come in some are faster than others all right so what I've been given is a zip file a zip file is a file that kind of tricks your computer into thinking that it's a smaller file size and that way it can be downloaded pretty easily from the internet and given back and forth to uh, share you know to share with people um, across the internet now to open the zip file so I can utilize what's inside of it I double click double click and when I double click it it opens up and boom it throws out this folder now a zip file is very handy because I can actually double click it again right now and it'll throw out another folder the same folder again a copy of it and so the zip file is a small size and you can reuse excuse me you can utilize it over and over again so it's a good one to keep okay in addition if I open up this one right here and I mess up the files inside well I can go back to the zip file double click it and start again so very handy file and I usually keep the zip files for future use okay so I'm gonna open this folder now because that's where I'm gonna see what they've given me and they've given me one PSD file a PSD is a native Photoshop file and they've given me this one that's a dark version and they've given me this one that's the light version in addition I see a couple other files in here one is the license text if I open it it tells me what the prohibitions are for the use of this and what rights I have to use it etc so it's good to read through those depending on, on you know the professional level of your work you definitely want to know what your license agreement is this uh, help file and it's not it doesn't get downloaded with everything you you download from graphic burger but it did with this one and it's handy it gives you a couple of the steps to try to help you know how to use the file which is helpful but it doesn't give enough detail so I'm gonna what I'm about to show you is going to be a lot more detailed all right so let's try the light one we're gonna double click on the light PSD to open it up in Photoshop and you can see that we've got this nice wall and we've got their mock-up logo now what I want to show you is that if you look over to the right in the layers panel you will see a red eye they've made that red for you so that you can you will notice it that is the layer that they have their uh, vector file on and you want to put your vector file in its place on that layer and it even says right on the layer it says your design here double click on the and it's really double click on the layer to you know be able to utilize it so but you'll see you will always see that your file here or your design here and you'll see the red eye and that will help you pick up on it really quickly okay now what I need to do though before I start messing with this Photoshop file is I need to go get my logo from Illustrator I need a vector file and I need to copy that vector file and paste it back into Photoshop so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna right over here on the desktop I happen to have my my file I'm gonna double click it to open it all right and I have a few versions of my my vector art for my logo now if I were to click on this using the selection tool the black arrow um, and if I move it you'll see that it really is just the vector image it's not like white in the in the negative space right so it's just this this file itself or this image excuse me so this vector art I want to click on make sure that it's selected and then I'm going to go to edit copy okay and if I'm on a Mac I do command C if I you know want to use my shortcuts all right now I'm gonna minimize this file I've just copied it it's on the pasteboard of my uh, computer and now I can put it into Photoshop and here's how on this file where you see the imagery right here this little box where my mouse is swimming if I double click on that double click okay it opens up let me close that now what might happen first by the way is you might get a little uh, a little box that will open up the first time that you do this and I've done this several times so it doesn't keep popping up for me but as soon as I double click on that uh, little layer 
uh, icon, when I double click on it, the first time you do it, you will generally get a little uh, box that's, that explains to you what's going to happen. And you just want to click OK if, it, if that little box pops up. Okay, And it'll explain what's about to happen and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Okay, so basically what you have here, I want you to notice, is that you have two files open right now. As soon as you double clicked on that, two files are now open. One of them right here on the right on my screen is a PSB file, which is different, right? That's a different kind of file. A PSB file is a large document file that can support really huge sizes uh, for imagery. So it's, it's lar it can be larger in dimension as well as overall size than a PSD file. And so this file um, is connected to your original PSD file, which is right here. So the original file that you first opened is right here. And this is another one that's linked to it that is open that contains this vector artwork. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over here to where it says placeholder in this file. And the placeholder is their vector artwork right here, this number 66. You can either um, delete this file or you can just turn off the eyeball, which is what I usually do. I just turn off the eye. And then I want to go up to edit and I want to paste mine in. Okay, so I can do command V or control V on a PC, but you can go to edit paste and when you do, this thing will pop up. Now, oftentimes it'll be in the default selection of a smart object, so it'll look like that, but you don't, uh, generally speaking, it seems to work a little better when you go down to the shape layer and click on that instead. So shape layer and then say OK. All right, and I'm going to now um, grab my my little move tool here and what I want you notice that I, I have a very small file here my vector artwork is very small I want to make that bigger so I'm going to do uh, command T on my computer um, or, or I could do control T if I was was on a PC and that's just the to get the transform out and basically if you don't remember those key commands you can always go up to edit free transform. So it's the free transform tool that you're after. Okay, so let me go to command T on my keyboard and just make that happen. You'll get a little box around your logo. I'm going to hold the shift key and the option or alt key on a PC at the same time. And then if I drag from a corner, it'll drag it out from its center and um, it will also keep it in proportion. It won't stretch it from one side to another. When I get it to the size that I think that I want, I am going to accept this transformation and one way to do that is to go up to the check mark up here and click it and then you'll see that box disappear from around it. Now I have my logo ready. Now what I need to do is save this file so that the changes are saved and it will link back to my original file. So I just go right up to file save okay and it just saved those changes. Now my smart thing is saving right now. Okay, my vector smart object. And now I'll go right back up here and I will click on my original file and you'll notice that my logo, boom, is right in there. Now my logo is huge, right? I don't probably don't want it that big. I want it to fit all in this space right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that vector smart object file, click on it. I'm going to select this again with the command T or the free transform, right? And then I'm going to hold my shift and my alt key so I can click and drag from a corner and make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to accept that change again with the check mark up here. I'm going to save it again. So file, save these new changes that I've just done. And then I'm going to go back once they're saved to my original file and boom, it is smaller. Now I can of course move this around here. I can make this into a JPEG or any other type of file that I might show to a client. Okay, I hope that was helpful and we'll see you soon.